Hello dear all welcome back to free engineering school as I discussed in my previous video we are going to discuss about the various types of finite element analysis before going to that we will just uh, briefly understand what is FEA so what is FEA finite element analysis this is the numerical method for solving problems of engineering and mathematical physics why it is so important to understand the physical behavior of the complex object uh, like uh, strength, heat transfer, capability, fluid flow, etc. Where it can be utilized or used. Uh, aerospace, automotive, construction, fluid, manufacturing process simulations, electric and electronics applications and many more. How it is so useful for us? Extensive prototyping, cost reduction, understanding of how a product will react to applied loads and stresses. When it can be used? Problems with complicated geometries, loadings and material properties where analytical solution cannot be obtained as you see in the right corner this is a complicated mechanical linkage where we cannot uh, apply an analytical method by uh, finding out the what is the stress levels and deformations so we uh, discretize this complete component into a finite element uh, structures where you can apply uh, our material con material properties boundary conditions to get the proper uh, stresses and deformations uh, of the component. So we will study the types of uh, finite element analysis. They are broadly classified into three structural analysis, thermal analysis and optimization. Structural analysis is subdivided into static loading. Static loading as the name indicates the load is constant with respect to time and uh, they are further classified into three linear static analysis will use the constant load condition with uh, elastic constant for uh, studying the structural behavior in the non-linear static analysis we will use the constant loading but we will consider the non-linearity in this material non-linearity contact non-linearity and boundary non-linearity in non-linear quasi-static analysis this analysis will lie slightly between the static loading and dynamic loading here the load will change with respect to time but uh, Inertia and damping effect will not be considered. In dynamic loading, again further divided into three types, transient response analysis, fatigue analysis, and non-linear transient explicit analysis. In transient response analysis, we will just apply a dynamic loading conditions with respect to the linear material properties to see the structural behavior. In the fatigue analysis, the structure will fail with respect to repetitive cyclic loadings that can be analyzed uh, under the dynamic loading. In non-linear transient explicit analysis, we will consider the non-linear material properties with respect to change in uh, uh, loading condition by considering the dynamic loading. In the modal analysis, uh, there is uh, only one type, normal modal analysis. This modal analysis will help us to uh, study the dynamic properties of an object due to vibration. The buckling analysis, the buckling analysis again further divided into linear buckling and non-linear buckling. This buckling analysis uh, is used to determine the whether the structure is undergoing a compressive force is a stable or not can be analyzed here. And uh, vibrational analysis again there are three types frequency response analysis and uh, response spectrum analysis and uh, vibrational analysis sorry random analysis. Sorry, uh, random operational analysis. The frequency response analysis uh, is used only in the frequency domain. The result of the frequency responses analysis are calculated uh, only by solving the characteristic dynamic equilibrium formula which found in uh, harmonic uh, loading conditions. In the response spectrum analysis uh, is the method to find the maximum response of the structure under uh, loads caused by the earthquakes. So this method is generally used in earthquake analysis. In a random vibrational analysis, uh, the direct random vibration uh, is mainly based on the probability. Uh, mainly this method predicts the range which uh, response in a structure will occur if the power spectrum density is applied. So this uh, can be further detailed discussed in uh, upcoming uh, videos. And uh, in the thermal analysis, there are further divided into three types. This thermal analysis is uh, mainly to see the material behavior with respect to the temperature variations. So in non-linear steady state heat transfer analysis, uh, 
we study the structural behavior uh, with respect to constant temperature in the non linear transient heat transfer uh, analysis we will uh, change the temperature with respect to time and we will see the material uh, uh, material behavior in the thermal fluid flow uh, th this is a computational uh, fluid flow analysis this uh, computational fluid flow analysis uh, is used to analyze the general fluid uh, dynamics as well as the solid and fluid heat transfer this can be also analyzed uh, this can be also used to analyze the turbulent flow mass mass transfer and uh, free surface problem as well in the optimization there is a quick uh, interesting topic about optimization this optimization is also a type of uh, analysis uh, it helps us to uh, produce a design that most effectively uh, uses the limited resource to produce the maximum performance so here uh, we'll further uh, de detail discuss about this optimization in the upcoming uh, videos so in the previous slide we discussed about the various finite element analysis in that the first category is structural uh, analysis we will just deep dive into the definition of the structural analysis so the structural analysis is to uh, understand how a physical structure will react to the appliances of different loads uh, to study the structural analysis uh, the one should have uh, knowledge in the field of mechanics material science and mathematics uh, to calculate the deformation levels internal forces stresses reactions and accelerations uh, stability of the structures too uh, this structural analysis in engineering particularly uh, it help us to predict whether the structure will be able to perform properly its functions uh, for the intended period of time under uh, determined loads so structural failure can be again uh, six different types uh, yielding uh, in either uh, ductile or brittle materials buckling uh, resonance fatigue creep and uh, erosion or wear so we'll continue the type of structural analysis uh, in that uh, static loading static loading is further divided into three types linear static analysis uh, in this analysis a load applied on the system or a component is same over a period of time and all the materials used in this model must follow the uh, hooke's law of elasticity as you can see in this graph the load applied on the structure is constant over a period of time i have given abacus card for your reference in that card as well if you see only the elastic material properties eng's modulus and poisson's ratio is uh, used that means whatever the load you applied in this region and once you remove it the structure will come set to its original positions so in the non linear static analysis uh, load is uh, applied constant with respect to time but here will accounts for uh, material geometry or uh, boundary non linearity so if you see in the abacus card uh, you can clearly uh, see the difference between uh, linear and non linear here Uh, in the linear we used only elastic properties in the non linear we considered the material uh, non linearity as well if you see uh, plastic uh, non plastic properties uh, this is a uh, yield strength and this is the ultimate strength with respect to the uh, percentage change in elongation so that means uh, we are consider the yield strength of the material and ultimate strength of the material with respect to the change in uh, percentage of elongation so in the third uh, analysis is uh, non linear quasi static analysis uh, it is the simplified dynamic analysis method uh, and uh, here inertial and damping forces are disregarded but the uh, loading conditions are uh, changing over a period of time if you see in this uh, graph uh, the load is keep on changing with respect to time and uh, the, in this linear static analysis load is constant and for in non linear quasi static uh, the load is changing with respect to time so this uh, non linear quasi static analysis will mostly used in deep drawings and punching process etc
So I'll stop here and uh, I'll continue the uh, other uh, different types of finite element analysis in my next video. Please write your comments or any uh, suggestions uh, so that we'll discuss in the next video. Thank you and bye for now.